morning guys as you can see I'm back on the kayak and I'm going to be doing something a little bit different this morning uh, I've never done it on film before on the kayak and I'm going to be trawling target species today is going to be bass and like I said I'm going to be trawling the beauty about trawling is you can fish really light and I'm actually traveling really light as well I've got two light spinning rods and I've hardly got any gear with me in the kayak except for a little tackle box, some bits and pieces, some spare line in my PFD pockets, scissors and the usual thing that I'm going to need. Uh, the conditions today are actually near perfect today. It's overcast and the forecast for the remainder of the day is to be overcast which is really good as I'm going to be trawling in the shallows looking for bass. I'll go through the setup and all that of what I'm using. Uh, I'm not going to be using lures today, I'm going to be using frozen sand deal. Uh, it's been very effective for me before in the past. It may be a little bit early in the year here in Scotland for sea bass or bass, but you never know. They, they may be about, and especially with the conditions, they may be in close, which is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be fishing in depths of water between 4 and 12 feet probably. Well, no fish finder today uh, and I'm just going to be purely uh, using my senses and my judgement of the depth of water what I think the depth of water will be. So I'm going to be trawling in close to the shore, try a few different marks as the day goes on, morning goes on and we'll just see how it goes. Like I said I'll show you the setups that I'm using, it's very simple and it can be very effective and hopefully today we get some action. So the setup is seven and a half foot spinning rod. This is my little uh, drop shotting rod actually. About 500 size reel on the other rod which is a, again seven and a half foot and I've got a two and a half thousand size reel. I've got eight pound braid on this, I've got 20 pound braid on the other one and From my braid, I've got a little bombarda float. This is a sinking, a sinking uh, bombarda, and it's five grams. I like it for trawling; uh, very effective. It's clear. My braid's going through the bombarda. It's a small swivel. I've got a palomar knot onto the swivel, and I've got approximately five foot of eight pound fluorocarbon. And what I've got here is like, a, it's almost like a little panel rig. But I've got a treble hook on the end, which I've crushed to the barbs. And the only barb that I use is for hooking into the, the sand eel bait, the sand eel bait, uh, for easy unhooking. Because I'll use it like a panel rig, I basically hook just below the vent of the sand eel. This is a medium sized sand eel. And then obviously twist round the hook through the head and then I can pull up just so there's enough tension in the line, not too much where it starts to twist. And finally what I do, this is optional if you guys are going to think about using this, but I've just got a very light whipping where the treble hook is, a light whipping around the treble hook eye just to keep it in place. So. Should you get a hit and it, and it misses, then if it was just hooked into the vent without any sort of whipping, the treble hook should fall out and then it's not going to work how it should. So effectively you're going to get a, a second chance with that one bait rather than it getting it trashed uh, if it wasn't whipped on. So that's the reason I whip it on. Like I say, that's op optional guys. and. Uh, obviously it works. So that's the the rig in its entirety. About five foot, four and a half foot, like I said, fluorocarbon up to a small swivel, bombarda float, sinking five grams and I have got a little bead just above the bombarda float and that's just to stop any weed catching round the top of the float. So 
but how I start is I just do a little lob behind me. Start pedalling, letting the line come off the bail arm. I'm heading back towards shore because I've drifted out with the wind. Letting off about 40 or 50 yards of line. Set. Get set up again, start the drift again, or start the, the trawl again. You can just see the bottom now, probably about six or seven feet. Trawling not too fast, steady pace. Uh, if I had my fish finder, I'd see how fast I'm actually going. State of the tide at the moment is about an hour and a half just after the start of the flood tide, so I'm going to fish the full tide and maybe a little bit of the ebb, depending how I go, uh, if I catch anything. Just checking the uh, drag, make sure it's not too tight. So guys, I'm in already. Literally five minutes. And it seems like a good one. Actually, see what it is. Oh, that's a sea trout. Target species, target species bass, and I get a sea trout. It's a nice sea trout as well.
probably about two pound. Although I've got a smog treble on, I've actually crushed two of the barbs, so trebles come out really easy. I'm just going to rest it up in the net before we get a look at it. That was literally... That was literally five minutes of trawling getting the first take. It's not the target species, uh, obviously target species is bass, but nevertheless a nice fish, good little scrap. And it's strong enough. Hey guys, we'll get a look at this fish and then we'll get it back. Nice sea trout, perfect condition, and it's probably about maybe a pound and a half, pound three quarters, but really good to catch, and it's going back safely. We'll get it back. Hey guys, it's now high tide. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get the target species today, but I've got a really good sea trout. Uh, like I said, it wasn't intended species, but it was a good bit of sport. And uh, you know, sea trout was pristine condition, probably about a pound and a half, pound three quarters, something like that. Anyway, I've had a really good day paddling about. Obviously this video is going to be really short, just one fish today, but uh, I hope you've seen how effective uh, trawling in the kayak is and hopefully as the year progresses, maybe get that first bass of the season and uh, I'll certainly be trying this again in the near future. Anyway guys, if you liked the video, give a thumbs up and if you like the content and you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Till next time guys, stay safe and thanks very much for watching.